In part one of this video, we featured some of the more well-known robots used at Chernobyl. In this video, I will focus on some of the other robots that were used, that were much harder to identify or find info about. Some of the largest remotely controlled machines sent to Chernobyl were bulldozers. These included the Soviet DET-250, which weighed over 70,000 pounds, and the Japanese Komatsu D-355W, which, according to some sources, was amphibious. I could not find any info about how well the Soviet bulldozers worked at Chernobyl, but some sources say the Komatsu was disabled by high radiation levels. However, these sources also show the photo of this unidentified four-wheeled robot by mistake, saying it is a Komatsu. This machine pictured here is also incorrectly identified as the Mobot, which was covered in Part 1. I believe this is an industrial machine that existed before the disaster, possibly a remote-controlled mining robot. But, there were many other robots that were built quickly and sent to Chernobyl, with many built by universities or factories around the Soviet Union. Some of these robots were called tables or stools with wheels, but these machines were of little use, as they were not durable or strong enough to participate in the cleanup efforts. According to some sources, more than 50 robots may have been used at Chernobyl, but most were ineffective. Because of this, human workers, or bio-robots, had to be used instead. Things could have happened differently if the Soviet government had allowed robots from the U.S. to be used at Chernobyl. The U.S. had experience using robots in the aftermath of Three Mile Island, starting in 1984. One of these was a six-wheeled robot called the RRV, or Rover. But, we'll never know if the American robots could have survived the high radiation levels at Chernobyl. In the video description below, I've included two links to videos that show more info about the robots of Chernobyl, including some archival footage.